Good way to wake up. Good morning. It's our second day here in Northern Norway and we had an amazing night's sleep last night staying at the Arctic Wilderness Lodge behind me over there. Our room was just second from the end on the top floor there and we had an amazing view of the Alta River which you can see behind me. The, the plan for today is in a couple of hours we're going to go on a reindeer sled and visit the Sami people for an authentic cultural experience. Later on tonight we're going to do a northern lights hunt and then we're going to finish the day off by staying overnight in the Sorosneva Ice Hotel. Hopefully that won't be too cold. But first, I think we're going to get some breakfast. We've just had our breakfast and I think I'm going to fly the drone for a few minutes and take a look around. It's minus 14 at the moment, so it's a bit warmer than yesterday, but I'm still freezing, so I'm going to go back into the room to warm up for a bit. We met our Sami guide in reception, and he took us to a changing room to get kitted up in warm overalls. We then went outside, and met the reindeers. And over there I have the, the lavu. I'm going to go inside there and I will tell you about my my life as a reindeer herder, as, as a Sami, okay. old tradition, and also telling about my glory. We rode the reindeer sleds to his lavu, a traditional Sami tent. Inside the lavu he told us the history and traditions of the Sami people around an open fire and gave us some tea and biscuits. 
the main reason why the Zambis has used this kind of tent in generations is actually that it's very easy to put up. This one takes around 45 minutes, then you have it. And Alawu is also like only one place. You have the kitchen here, you have the living room, you have the sleeping places. Uh, what we don't have is uh, it's a toilet and water. The fire is always on the middle. And then you have the kitchen from the fireplace all the way back. This is the kitchen. Uh, and the living room is of course on both sides of the fire and the sleeping place is behind. There is also some rules how to sit and behave inside the lab. The mother's place is the home is always here where I'm sitting now or the owner of the lavu can also sit here and then you on her side she had the youngest kids and father's place is on that side with the older kids and when they get guests the guest place is over there nearby the door and uh, it's not allowed to cross over here so if you want to go come on this side you have to go around because you never walk over a kitchen. In Norway we have like three types of samis. We have uh, the reindeer herders and then we have the coast samis and tundra samis. And coast samis, they are fishermen and also small farmers. And the tundra, tundra samis, they are um, hunters and freshwater fishermen. To be a reindeer herder, it's we don't uh, call it a job. It's more like a lifestyle for us. Yeah. actually homemade so we cannot go to the shops and buy them so so it's a uh, it's the woman in each family who's making them for us every village has their own way to design this design belongs uh, to Kautikeino village it's very easy to see where the people are from just to look on the outfit then we also use belts and uh, from the belt you can actually see if the person are married or not but you can still see on this belt also that I'm married if you can see you can see here I have a square all the way around here and square means that you are married if I was unmarried then I had round, round buttons then we have the pants uh, these pants are made of reindeer hides. Actually, it's made from the leg skin of the reindeer because the leg skin is the strongest part of reindeer's skins. So I have my knee exactly on the same place as the reindeer's head. Then we have the, the shoes. These shoes are actually still today the warmest shoe you can have when you go outside. The main reason is the, the hair, because it's air inside here, a lot of air, so it's very good this lady. And the second one is the grass we use inside. Uh, this is like a special type of grass. It's what we call the Senna grass in uh, Norwegian language. The good thing with grass is that it takes all your moisture away from your feet, keep your feet dry and warm still uh, and it also take if you have problem with uh, feet smell it takes that also away and when we wear this then we also wear it bare feet we don't wear socks inside only grass then we also have you can see we have the tip on our shoes this one the reason is actually that the Sami people was quite early to uh, doing this uh, cross-country skiing and stuff like that and they didn't have this modern type of binding we have today. So they, if we pretend that this is the ski, 
they actually had only a rope over here mm. and and they hook the, the tip under the rope so they get the, the rope over here mm. so this tip is actually only a stopper for the rope to not fall off so that's the reason why they had the tip Do you like to sing? I can teach you how I sing in in in, in my language. It, it's what we call a yoik. Okay, <coughs> I can start with my yoik first. Yeah, that was one part of my oik. Okay, are we ready to go for reindeer tour again? When he had finished, we rode the reindeer sleigh back to Soros Neva for our lunch. on a reindeer sled yeah. for around 10 minutes mm. to a little hut, a Sami hut. Mm. We learned about the Samis. Then we went back on the reindeer sled and we came all the way back here. What was your favourite part? Learning about the Samis. Yeah, you enjoyed that? Yeah. What was your favourite part of the reindeer sledding, Holly? Probably going down the hill. Yeah. Did we go going really fast. Far? We went really fast. I like going fast. Yeah. My favourite part is probably when we went into the hut. Yeah. Because that was by a fire. Okay. So where do you want to go now, Holly? For lunch. You want to go for lunch? What about you, Matthew? Do you want to go for lunch? Yes, I do. I'm starving. Okay, okay. I'm having sausage, chips. Sausage and chips and for my drink. I'm going to stir it up and have some red wine. You've got a bit of static in your hair, Holly. It's always touching the chair behind you. After lunch, we went outside to play in the snow for an hour or so before coming back inside to warm up. So what do you want to do now then, Matthew? Build a snowman. Yeah, and where are we going to build it? Right there. Right over by there.
Turns out the snow was just too dry to stick together. Are you cold, Matthew? Yes. Actually, yeah? no. No? I am. I'm freezing. You're freezing, Holly, are you? Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to go back in to warm up, then we're going to have some dinner, then we're going to go on the Northern Lights hunt before spending the night in the Ice Hotel. I couldn't show you properly yesterday because the sun was shining towards us, but here's a view from our room. It's absolutely amazing. We were told that our room in the ice hotel tonight was number 27. Not knowing which one that was, we decided to go and find it. Welcome to the ice hotel. And this is our room for the night. It's one of the uh, theme suites. It's got a reindeer at the top, trees all along the wall. And it's even got some steps that lead up to the bed. And behind me here is a sofa made of ice, obviously, with some reindeer hides on there. The bed itself is obviously made of ice and it's got reindeer hides on the bed and there's some cushions up there and there's some steps leading up to it I don't think there's snow in the cushions around here hmm. no I think they're just regular cushions and there's holly on the steps leading to our bed and my favourite part about this room is um, the little <laughs> Reindeer, made out of ice. It's really impressive how they make all these things and yeah, it's also like perfect questions on the way. Are you looking forward to sleeping in this room tonight, Holly? Yeah. Yeah, what about you, Matthew? Yeah. Yeah? Who's going in the middle? Me. You. You're in the middle. So we'll come back later when we've got our sleeping bags, when we get changed into our PJs. So this is flat ram, I think. This is uh, dry cured ham. Dry, dry ram. Dry cured ham. Dry ham. Yeah. Um, flatbread and whipped cream. I think she said. Yeah, whipped cream. So it's the same as what we had last night. Yeah, this is not whipped cream. No. She's actually right. It's not whipped. Cream. <laughs> 
to give her a little bit of a stir. Is she tall? I can't take it. After dinner, there was a fireworks show outside, celebrating a couple who had just got married. We were picked up for our Chasing the Northern Lights tour at 8 o'clock and were taken in a minibus along with five other tourists up nearby Pescavayan Mountain and no sooner had we got there the Northern Lights started to dance for us. We spent about an hour and a half up there before returning back for our night at the Ice Hotel. We just got dressed and we're going to the Ice Hotel, probably go to sleep and yeah, and this yeah. is our room number. So what's our room number? 72, <laughs> no, 27. 27. And You're right. here's the uh, well, key. So that's that. the key for our locker to put our clothes in mm. that Matthew's going to be carrying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we're ready? So now we've got to get two sleeping bags each. So you get two sleeping bags. There you go, Holly. Pull two sleeping bags out. Uh. They're very big. Okay, you just need me to help you. And get a pillow as well. Oh my god. Holly, I think I'll better help you, are they? Yeah. Yeah? I think the camera should help me as well. Yeah. Because this is too much for such a little girl to carry. Hmm. You know, I'm strong for those receivers. Everything, sure. Yeah. Lead the way. put the sleeping bags over the bed and we go back and get more sleeping bags and pillows. It's not that cold is it? I know. No, I'm still kind of cold We're not right now. that much. Yeah, it's a lot warmer in here than there is outside. Yeah, which I wasn't expecting. Just expecting and I'm surprised because there's more ice in here than there is outside. <laughs>
and now it's finally time for bed. Matthew and Holly are already tucked up nice and cosy. We've got two giant sleeping bags each, keeping us warm. Hopefully we're going to keep warm anyway. And now it's time for me to join them. <laughs> Good night and I'll see you tomorrow. It's 3.30 in the morning and typically I needed to go to the bathroom and to go to the bathroom you need to get out of the ice hotel and go to the main building. Next time on Travel Shorts Norway.